You can actually kill me. I think the cooldown and duration is too high. Yeah, you aren't going to actually break through Laurel. That's funny. And I could actually eventually kill you with retaliation damage. Thanks for messing around with more Vampire Survivors. We're going to go as fast as possible in the inlaid library. No, do not do Disco of Gold. Our idea would normally be pretty good, but I need to make sure I get weapon. Laurel. Reroll. Gets you up to 20 rerolls, and that's a demonstration of what happens. So, so much better than the others. It's so crazy. Like, even if you supercharge them, they'd still be bad. Defang enemies do not trigger retaliation. Be careful about that. Okay, I haven't even used up my revive. That's nice. Armor can wait. Chicken, yay. Health. Faster attacks is better attacks. Laurel's up high enough that I'm confident to get empty to him first. Okay, I got a good enough on health that I can start charging through dudes. Wait, three charges? I've only went up to two. Huh. Watch that damage in action. Sure, I have no projectile speed, but who needs that? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky Smith. That's what they call him, you know? Lucky Smith. You think X-Dash is lucky? You got nothing on Smith. Obviously, the better idea would be to get Eskizabur up first. Because it will cause retaliation. But also, I need to wait for 10 minutes to evolve it anyway, so there's no real point. Anyway, this is just going to be as fast runs as I can manage because well I'm on an incredible time crunch on account of not getting any sleep again or getting too much sleep we woke up two hours earlier but I didn't I didn't Also, the controller battery is low, and I can't afford to be playing it for too long here in a game. Let's kiss her first. Not that it's going to matter since it's five minutes in. Okay. Punch them all. Smith four. Punch them all. No point getting that chest at all. Oh no, I'm not evolving Laurel. I guess it would all just go anything on Legionnaire or as kids burn instead of Legionnaire would be pointless, but doubly pointless. You know, I should just stand still, let them come to me. Doesn't matter. 
They're all gonna get annihilated. I need to move how it looks in the settings page. Or the mixer page, because having the mic at the bottom is annoying. Because I don't know when it's on! Yay! I mean, it should never be off, but... Hey! It'll do that anyway. Well, now that it's nice and taken care of, I'm just going to sit back and relax. For all that adrenaline and heart pounding action fighting Mesmer and shadows of the Erd tree. Boy, do I need to relax. Well, that better have counted. Oh man, it would be so disheartening to just load back in and see, oops, network error, blah blah blah, you didn't actually beat him, fight his wretched boss again. Just everything's over-aggressive and nonsense these days. Hew hew hew. Remember when it was all methodical fighting? People look back fondly on Ornstein and Smoke for a reason. I need to stop talking about other games. It's not like Vampire Survivors has changed its dang core component at all. Kill a ton of mobs, kill them with bigger weapons, funner weapons, or weaker weapons, or more pathetic weapons. I'm looking at you, Diver Mines. I'll never forgive you for that, Uncle. <laughs> I say in as joking a manner as I can, I hope. I may get sour, but if I'm still playing it, that means I'm enjoying it. Unless it's Tales of Zillia 2. That I just put hours in that out of pure anger. I will not savage a game without being a connoisseur of all of its habits. Alright, which one use the evolution chest? Alright. Well, I'm invincible now, so... Err. Legionnaire gets slash crits. All silent sanctuary. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Look at them, Smith. Clonin's in action. Obviously, because he didn't get the armor bonus, he isn't going to be able to scale remotely as well as Toasty does, but still. Once Smith gets going, he's a top of the line in utility sports. I have no idea why that's just randomly stuck into my mind all of a sudden. Hey, now the enemies are going to be coming after me. And getting destroyed that or way. There's really no reason to get hard of fire, I just wanted it to make it just a bit easier to get the health I needed to survive. Unexplained fires are a matter for the courts. But what about the explained fires? Oh, well, oh, you're down there. Sweet, sweet retaliation damage going. Only 51. No, only 51. 900, though. That's gonna chew up the inlay library pretty dang well. And once all the inlay is down, I can just put down the controller, and after this, we're gonna be heading over to. Boss Rash and Moon Glow, because, well, I'm on a super time crunch and I need the shortest shift age as possible. And Game Killer basically stomps Boss Rash into the ground regardless.
Well, granted, usually that's on a character with health. So it's going to be difficult. More difficult than you think. That's why it's going on inverse. Maybe. No, I mean Vandalia is going to be better than what other characters pulled off there. I have to go low. Well, no, actually. I could get Legionnaire and Laurel. Quick timey. We'll get all of my stuff set up. First few levels, then grab Game Killer, so that way the scaling doesn't go too high. And I can actually use those chests to get something. Because I will be doing it on inverse, like a donkey. Am I moving? Like that. No way I'm moving, I want to go punch Atlanteans. Why am I moving like that? That double might scaling is a something. Yes, fast. Uh, who is the highest in regular might scaling? Mina. Mina at five. Oh, no, granted, regular might caps out at a thousand, so it's not that helpful. Still, combine them and, oh boy, I don't want you candy box. Go away, you're too bad for my health, all that sugar rushing. Still, combine and you get a fancy 6% damage constantly going up. Of course, you're not going to... Skyrocket your levels to a crazy degree. But hey, that just means HP items level enemies aren't gonna hurt you. Oh, I guess in theory you could also go to the uh, Finian. Finian. Finian! Instead of serving into a Finian. Because who cares if your luck is at negative 90? It won't matter. And honestly, you could just compensate for that. On the back end, anyway. With Wicked Season. And, you know, one point of luck. Like, one luck, three growth, one curse. Uh, no, with Wicked Season, you don't even need that. Curse alone will just boost it, so... One luck. Because eventually, you need 100%. Still have thing instantly. Oh, right, you're there. Let's fix that real quick. Even you aren't going to survive that much damage, Atlantean. You're just making me stronger. Hey, it's up to 10k hits now, right? Uh, no, it's only up to 2,000 Jai. Jais! I've actually gained very few levels overall. Let's fix that. 2000s. Yep, and that went nowhere because it didn't have the time to. Am my cooldown going up? That was about 50 ish levels. Oh, this isn't really necessary. Not quite as powerful as Toasty, but then again, no one can. I actually watched Dex's videos again about trying to hit his damage records and stuff. He was only getting billions with all his attempts. Well, my really unrefined Toasty hit trillions. Trillions. Clearly, I'm better. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Totally a lie. Slash S. Clearly, I'm terrible, but still. Kind of funny when you can outbeat someone like that. And just to show I'm a good sport about it, I went and watched Ongball's video about him completely clobbering Mesmer without getting no hit. Or without getting hit once. Boy, howdy, did I struggle for hours in 15, 16 minutes against him. And he just cleaves through him like butter. 
The world is a wide place, is it not? That's that maximum cooldown for you. Only 700. Imagine how much more brutal it would be if I had actually gotten the right pickups. And with Crown, this could have gone off so much faster. What could season two? Like I don't even see the other. Oh, there's the other Arcana chest. Now, of course, nothing will compare to Toasty. Because what are you going to be doing against that level of damage? You know. Let's see. Oh yeah. And the Reaper is 655, 575 or whatever after that. Anyway, the important thing is the 600,000 health times level. So that 100 million Toasty was hitting in the end was actually from Crimson Shroud hitting the Reaper when it got in. That was funny. He had like 66 billion health at that point. This Crimson Shroud does like 1% HP. Of the Reaper. Could have been so much higher, too. Uh, it's frankly where all of its damage came from, was just being up the Reaper on the end. Yeah, uh, what's the damage on you? I can't even tell. Uh, I see five digits. Yeah, I'm seeing five digits in here. Some 11,000 is showing up. 35, 1900, or 19,000, I think. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, yep. I don't think you can actually kill me. I think the cooldown and duration is too high. Yeah, you aren't going to actually break through Laurel. That's funny. Now I could actually eventually kill you with retaliation damage from this. You will take that much. Uh, you don't have that much, but still, I'm on a time crunch. I am on a time crunch. That means I'm going over to the boss rash. Clearly that's a good idea. Nope. Nope. No, it was not. Laurel right away. Wait, why is there one in the middle? No level ups, just get the base. Then I get game killer. And went off that. Well, I should have got the candy box there, so I could have got that's Kizabur. No levels. Just get the base. Okay, there it is. Now I get Game Killer. That'll keep them from leveling up. And sure, I get more power from leveling up too. But I don't want to deal with Gyorutans. Gyorutans. Gyoruntan. I will survive better than you. Lucky Clover. Wait, what did I heal from? Oop. Logan time, yeah. Now 
Now a triple chest action, this will be much faster than ever. Triple chest action. Really faster. Faster, kill them all. Oh man, just a few levels. They cause such a difference. I mean, it moves them up from like, what, 150 health? Uh oh, not a chicken, really. Aha! Try and stop me now. Oh, chicken wave, nice. Create that invincible wave of chicken forts. Woo. I don't know whether that was from retaliation health or what. Empty tomb. Now a smart idea would be get Silent Old Sanctuary. Better idea would be to get awake, compensate for the fact that I have no revives. Okay, got 140 health. Try and put some of that to use. Yep, get him nice and fast and level up. Strangely, nothing on Vandalier. That's weird. Remember, it's retaliation kills. Not anything else. Not anything else. Well, I'm getting damage off of doing some of them. Not all of them. On the other hand, you are pretty dang weak because it's only level 6 enemy health. You compensate. Get in that nice big HP times level buff. Yeah. Oh, that was an Aura Logan. I thought it was just an NFT. Well, that was poorly timed then. Now these guys are weirdly durable up front. Actually kind of annoying to fight with them. Good thing I have actual weapons this time around. Well now you give me Vandalier. I max out it's because of her, yes. And having more health helps too. Oh, was that a rosary right on me? Well, you can definitely feel with the eyeballs. They went down instantly beforehand. Could be my legionary. Oh yeah, my legionary. Get toasted. Or get smithed. Normally, running Divine Bloodlight here is a bad idea. But I'm doing it. As you know, there's usually just not enough happening for it to work effectively. I know there's an Aura Logan around here somewhere.
Oh yeah, this will just give me regular stuff and I can skip the Arcana too. Oh, there's the Orologian down there, so grab that. So I have some more time to punch against them with my retaliation damage. Amazing retaliation damage. Oh, wait. Those aren't just, like, weird light sows. Those are a bunch of items being thrown. Weapons being thrown. I never noticed that before. There's Drowner down. Now I have some cover. Edge. Go around. I think I picked up a wake. Oh, yay. Rosary. Well, oh, just save that for your routines. Now let's get my health up. I should have a lot of health. Hey, vacuum. That wasn't that useful, actually. I need to wait for... I got a lot of health, actually. Two more revives. They shouldn't be able to get through this much. Boy, they sure are trying, though. Oh, one more revive. Okay, yeah, I just needed to get to the red gems. That saved everything. Oh. Yay. Give the sweet embrace. There's boss rash down as quick as can be. Going as fast as we can on Carl Kart. I'm bald line. That health going. Rerolling. No, I do not want Pichon. I want Iskizabur. Okay, that's what I was missing is Kizabur. That'll give me what I need. That'll give me everything I need. You know, something to protect me close by. All I needed in life was a sword. Now you know I'm a man. Well, getting Legionnaire is going to be annoying because, well, kind of hurt. Still. Still. Low health, low health, not good. Laurel timing. Yay, health back. Lucky chicken. Let's get away from you, illusionist trickster. More chicken. More chicken time. I have a lot of health. There was light sources I couldn't use whatsoever. Oh no, the winged gremlins.
Oh yeah, words, 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 talking words, talking words. Look, I have to get this rushed out as soon as humanly possible. Might not even finish processing the 4K before I have to push finish it. And then, I have other stuff to do. Yay, I gotta go track down somber smithing stones in Elden Ring. But I didn't prepare for it whatsoever, because I am bad at time management. Or, I could record whoever's next. It can't be as bad as the ghosts, right? Oh god, it's like Gyorutan, isn't it? Gyorutan, isn't it? Oh, I'm not getting any retaliation on this. Where am I grabbing those? Well, I do have my revive, so that's nice. Even if I have no health at the moment. Yay, a lap. Oh, it seems like they fixed the lap here. That was definitely not that short. Oh, just another chest. This gonna be nothing but chest misting. Oh well. Smith is going fast. Alright, just keep moving until I start seeing that arrow move and then try to aim for it. Try to slow down and aim for it. Wow, I drifted way down. Uh oh, stalker. Okay, you're coming up nice and low. Legionary is more important than the revives. Random always. Oops. Oh, you're defanged again, stalker. You are a drowner. No! Don't leave me, Defang Stalker. You're the only Stalker that isn't terrible. You can't hurt me. I don't like that nasty old Drowner right there. Really gonna let him get away with your Stalker target? Huh? 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 Show that... ...sibling of yours. Wait, are you Defanged too? No, I got Laurel. Right, top it is, top we go. No, oh, hey, I rosary the drowner away. Okay, about two minutes left. Fast as possible. Man, the smiths aren't, er, yeah, the smith clones. There's three of them. We are truly smith four. S times with Smith 4. Also, there's Darkener. I think it's Darkener. Wait, is that another... Oh, that was Defanged Illusionist. Or no, Defanged Maddener. You don't see that every day. In fact, you probably don't see Maddener at all. Very rare, that guy. Keep going on. Keep going on. Wait. Uh, I'm gonna... I got 35 growth right now. Wow, you don't actually have much growth in any, huh? I give him malice. Alright, so next time I cross the finish line, let's see how much it goes up. It looks like 5, but you know, sometimes it's weird like that. Cause that's half a point of might. Boy, 
and it changed weirdly. Wow, they have all been at the bottom for forever. I should switch tracks then. There we go. Okay, yep, that's just flat out five. Opposing theory. Well, maybe really hard to put into practice, but in theory that really helps make it a good way to do it. Oh, can you actually get through my layers? Oh, you can't. Oh, you can, barely. Took you forever. All right, that's Smith Fours racing around as fast as possible. And Smith Four has sped us around. 235, 236, 237. Oh, 1,605 more to go on the Beswick. That was pretty fast, but can random be faster? Thanks for watching. I would appreciate a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.